Hey guys, I'm doing a book discussion on a book called Playing to Win, How Strategy Really Works. So the authors of this book were key decision makers in a large corporation. And this book highlights how they turned a multi-million dollar company to a multi-billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company. Now, they start off by really uh, defining your how-to choices. And that starts by finding exactly what it is you want to do. So, um, yeah, so do you want to get in better shape? Um, Do you want to make more money? Find out exactly and be clear on what it is exactly you want to do. Um, Then um, clarify where it is you're going to um, achieve this. So where are you going to implement your strategy? Uh, The next thing is um, how finding out how you're going to win. What actions are you going to take to win? And then uh, after that, you've got to find uh, what tools do you need to win um, and what management systems do you need? Uh, uh, what do you need to do to ensure the best chance of winning? Um, they give a few examples um, about um, using sh- strategy to win um, in their time at Procter and Gam- Gamble. Um, the first example is um, a story about Pringles. Uh, so, in, uh, there's an interest. Uh, so, with uh, Pringles, um, the the boardroom directors tr- decided to sell it to a better suited company because food products were hard to globalize. In order to expand, they needed products that can easily be, easily be sold all over the world, and food products were very localized. Even though Pringles was bringing in eight billion in revenue, by selling it, they were able to invest in products that were better suited to the company and allowed for organic growth and gave them room to innovate on existing products. Uh, the next example is called Cookie, Mo- Cookie Monster. So P&G uh, released Chips Ahoy, and the CEO at the time was confused as to why it wasn't dominating the market. Roger Martin, the author, the co-author explained that they should cut out the product as it doesn't fit with the broader strengths of the company. Roger mentioned that mums rotate different chips every week and not based on the quality of the individual chips. The C- CEO disregarded consumer behavior and had Roger fired. Roger's predictions were later proved to be correct and was later rehired to teach the leadership team how to think like him. Cheers. So look, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, And uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.